Good morning, Mike Hughes here with you. And I wanted to, after a month of YouTube trial and error, I guess I call it, since this COVID-19 pandemic has come on, I felt the need to do videos, put them online, so we stay in communication, starting out with the local congregation. Of course, anyone else that benefits can benefit from this. I have found out several things on, video, on YouTube that you have to hit a certain number of subscribers, I think at the present time 200, and so many views before you can get a good name, a good URL, you call that, that people can easily go to. Right now, I'll link our URL in, in the description so you'll see how big it is. <laughs> it's, it's a monstrosity. It looks like a uh, 128 uh, character key code that you would use for security encryption code. Uh, but that's what you have until you can change and get a what they call a custom URL. So we're working on that. That's the technical side. Now for the equipment, I want to give you a rundown. We start off over here on my left as I face it, and I will show this to you on the other roll. We have a newer soft light, soft box light that we recently got in. We haven't had this and glad that we do have this now uh, to do some background fill-in. That serves as a fill-in light, we hope. The main light is a cake pan. I saw directions for on YouTube. I have spent a lot of time on YouTube, looking at YouTube, getting ideas from people and talking, to, emailing several people about this project. And this cake pan has, I think, 160 little cob LEDs wrapped inside it. And it doesn't have a white cloth on to kind of tone down the light some, but we'll have that when it comes in. I think today or tomorrow it might be in. And, but I just wanted to give you this video so you'd see what we're doing. And so that's the lighting for now. I think I have two more lights coming in to help with the background, try to get rid of some of these shadows in the back. I uh, may even move this to another room here in the uh, church facility. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, we'd need another table, get another table for that, but we'll, we'll look at doing that. The camera I'm using is my iPhone 10. I have seen cameras online go anywhere from $200 up to four or $5,000. I realize I don't have a budget that we had at WMC or WLBQ, LBT rather, or WMAQ in Memphis or in Chicago that we had. Got that wrong, Chicago. Those places have budgets for $200,000 cameras, $250,000 cameras. Anything happens, you go buy it. Uh, I loved it when I worked in those facilities. I had needed something. I said I would go tell the manager, why are you telling me go buy it? Would be the answer. You know, sales come in, we pay for it. We have a budget. We don't have that. But... We are working slowly to do the best we can. This camera will shoot 4K video, which is what we need. The only thing it doesn't have, I wished, would be an SD card so I could record things, take them, put them on the computer. Now, speaking of computer, I'm using my Mac Mini, a Mac Mini that I recently uh, got for this purpose, around $400 and I use a program, a free program that I found called DaVinci Resolve 16 to edit the video. And uh, it's a full featured program that is free. I'd love to use Final Cut uh, Pro, but they want 300 for it. I just don't have that right now. We may get there. We'll see uh, what happens with this. I uh, do the best we can do and we do all of our graphics ourself in-house used to at the tv station we had a lady that's all she did was made poster cards she painted them hand painted them today we can do computers to do that 
uh, programs like Affinity Photo, uh, real cheap, uh, kind of a replacement, I guess you would say, for Photoshop that I used for years. And now that they went subscription-based, I sought something else rather than paying each month for my software. But that's another story. I'll leave that to your discretion. Audio-wise, I'm wearing a Bauer lapel mic fed into the phone uh, for secondary for backup audio. I always believe in backup, especially with audio. I have my Sony Zoom H5 that I have been using to record sermons on Sunday morning and putting them on the website www.michaelrhughes.com. Uh, it's where they are. And there's three years worth of those sermons in audio. So I want to go back and I want to pull some of those and I want to put them on video and I will do that as we have time. So I hope this helps you see what we're using, what we're trying to do with this setup, trying to get the message out, trying to stay in touch, give those who are worshiping in their homes on Sunday morning a lesson to use, uh, be a part of that of that uh, experience with you through this message until we can get back and then we'll probably continue to still do these videos. When I set out to do these videos, they had to be they had to meet certain criteria. It had to be that I could do this by myself without another person, without Reba, without someone else having to be involved, without a seven man crew. And thus, that's why you see all these poles put up on the edge of the desk. All this can be put up by myself, can operate myself, look at the camera and go. Uh, for the B-roll, the keynote slides, I use, again, my Mac Mini uh, keynote. Uh, well, you say, why don't I use PowerPoint? Well, I just got into keynote because of uh, Apple computers. And at the time when Keynote came out, they leapfrogged what I thought PowerPoint was doing at the time. Although I'm certified PowerPoint, I can use PowerPoint. But everything I do now has been Keynote, so I pretty well stuck with it. So that's where I'm at. Uh, I may go over there just like I went out of pages into Word, back into Word. Uh, Sometimes that happens. But anyway, I hope this helps you understand what we're trying to do. And any way possible, you might want to help out with that. We appreciate we're not soliciting funds, not soliciting donations. Uh, I'll even put a wish list up. You know, I, I've had projects before where people have bought things, sent them to me, and that's fine too. Uh, but again, we don't charge for this program. We've never charged for this program. I'm pretty well paying for all this out of my own pocket. The church hadn't bought any of it. The church is supplying the utilities that I'm using. But other than that, that's the extent of their involvement other than paying my salary uh, to be able to work with them in an effort to reach those in the Spring Hill area with the gospel. So with that, we'll see you on the next video.